I made Flappy Bird inside of Minecraft using only commands. I have no idea I could create entire games simply inside of Minecraft, but is it really as simple as it sounds? About two months ago, popular YouTuber Seth Blink made his return to Minecraft after about four years with a crazy new video where he added physics to the game. My tiny brain could barely compute that already, but then he continued to build onto the idea and made Block It League. And you know what blew me away the most? This wasn't done with any mods. None of it. All of it was done using only Minecraft commands. You know, those things you type to give yourself a bunch of TNT to blow up your friend's builds? So I needed to try this. Minecraft modding was a little too much for me, but Minecraft commands? Surely I could learn that. Surely. Surely. Like you saw in the intro, I decided to make Flappy Bird. Because in a lot of ways, Flappy Bird is one of the easiest games to make, especially when you're trying to learn a new game engine. I can't believe I actually just called Minecraft a game engine. <laughs> but before I could do that, I honestly just wanted to learn the basic stuff. Like how do I recognize some kind of input? Or how do I spawn blocks? And probably most importantly of all, where do I even write these commands? Usually you would write these in your chat, but I cannot consistently enough call commands in there to make it feel like stuff is happening to you. Besides, who wants to constantly type in a bunch of words in a video game? Another option is command blocks, for which you ironically need to type in a command to get one. Solid solution, but I prefer the third option. Data packs. Those are just a collection of commands that get run whenever you call their function, which is basically a singular file. And yes, it's all running from Visual Studio Code, an actual code editor. I have a load function, which runs when a world is loaded or reloaded, and I have a tick function, which runs every tick, kinda like the update method in Unity, or step in Game Maker, or process in Godot. I do not know what Unreal is up to these days. <laughs> This makes working with commands so much easier, and if I just call another function inside of my tick function, I can basically do this. This <laughs> never ends. So, with a proper way of writing my commands figured out, let's try out this input thing. I don't want the player to have to press buttons every time they want the bird to fly, because that would take their eyes away from the actual gameplay. Instead, I would prefer if they could simply left-click or right-click to make the bird flap his wings. Well, okay, maybe flap is a big word. And maybe so is Wings. <laughs> Turns out that a common way to do this is by using a carrot on a stick. Yeah, I know, it surprised me too, I promise. But apparently it has a right-click functionality that just doesn't do anything. Or at least the game recognizes it as being used, but it doesn't actually do anything itself. And as long as there are no pigs nearby, I think I'm good. This right-click functionality can then be used to trigger a function. In my case, I just want to know how things work and why they work, so I can use them for my own use. And, well, to start off, I just want to spawn a chest anytime I press the right mouse button. It won't stop! I'm not pressing anything, please, someone help me! I promise I'll get into more of the specifics soon, but why this isn't working is actually really interesting to me. Because this isn't a proper scripting language. They're just commands. So there are no variables. Naturally, you're wondering how you can now complain about my naming conventions. But worry not, there is a workaround. While there maybe aren't any literal variables, um, not as far as I know at least, there are scoreboards, and scoreboards can hold integer values. These are about as close as you will get to getting variables. I think, I'm not sure yet, I'm, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> so what's happening here is it's checking whether I'm holding the carrot on a stick, and if so, and I press right click, it sets a scoreboard variable called right click to one and whenever right click is set to one it spawns a chest i just never set it to zero again <laughs> because i didn't know what any of it meant but now it's fixed and it only spawns a new chest when i click the right mouse button uh i should probably clean this up <laughs> Oh. Now we have a simple trigger when we right click and we can place a block in the world. What's next? The bird. Or, well, the yellow block. Sorry, little dude. Alright, stay with me here. We spawn the yellow block as a falling block, which is just something you have to accept because I did as well. That basically allows you to mess with a bunch of its properties while it pretends to look like a block of yellow wool. I needed that to get it to teleport down to simulate gravity. I teleported down one block every 20 ticks, which is apparently a second in real time. And when I right click, it teleports up one block. 
I can also check if the block that's currently in a certain position or at a position relative to the bird block is a specific block like air, meaning that there is nothing else there. If that's the case, do everything you want to do, otherwise it's game over. But Flappy Bird isn't really much without the pipes now, is it? You need to try to move up or let yourself fall down without hitting any of the pipes and trying to get as many points as possible. So, simply put, I need to make blocks that go from the right to the left, and when the player hits that block, I need the game to be game over again. No problem, just spawn in another falling block, now pretending to be a green wool block, and voila! Looks like a pipe to me! I add another block on top of it and just move it to the left. Uh, please come back? Okay, fix it. Oh, okay, I should probably reload. <laughs> I am a Flappy Bird Pro. Clearly, I was ready for the real deal at this point. I just needed actual pipes. Or, well, a Minecraft build that looked like pipes at least. So, I drew a simple pipe in a sprite, and because I have to summon each individual block separately, or so I thought, I used my Pixar reference to find what coordinates to use for each of those blocks. And there is my pipe, without any typos, surprisingly. I, I really just did that first try. And just like I did before, it is now moving to the left one block a second. It's doing great. Also, surprisingly, making a teleport back to the start when hitting a wall was not a problem either. It's basically the same kind of command as with the bird, but instead of being game over when it hits something, now it checks whether it's hitting a glass block, and if it is, it will go back to the start position. There you go! I made Flappy Bird! Wrong! The pipe is constantly in the same position. There is zero challenge to this, and you're gonna just try to keep the bird in the same position until you get tired or until you get hand cramps. Basically, in the original game and every ripoff that has been made ever since, the pipes have a random vertical position. Sometimes it's in the middle, sometimes it's in the bottom, and sometimes it's on the way at the top making it nearly impossible to reach. But this is all done by giving the pipes a random Y position. I spent an entire day trying to figure this out. I am tired. Here's what I learned. You can use Minecraft loot tables to create a random number generator. Let's all just pretend that we know what that means. Also, Minecraft loot tables don't do negative numbers, which kind of makes sense because you cannot get minus five of an item. Uh, dot Jason is not the same as dot Jason, which can cost you over an hour of your life that you're never getting back. If conditions are great, but having to write one for every block of the pipe for every possible height that they can get, not so much. Also, apparently I know how to do this in one line now. There's a thing called block displays. What was I thinking? Anyway, the random number that I generate is then saved to a scoreboard and used by the pipe to decide where to spawn next using those if conditions. I hope this guess led you into believing that this whole process was simple. Yeah, no, never mind. That That is a lie. <laughs> it was frustratingly hard because I kept trying to make it completely random relative to its current position, which obviously I I couldn't figure out because I'm not that smart, but eventually I made it so it just deletes the pipe when hitting a block of glass instead of teleporting back to its starting position. And every 10 seconds, which is 200 ticks, it will spawn a new pipe at a random position which is decided by the random number generator. So it might still be worth something. I wrote a Python script for it, so it better be worth something. And because I didn't want the game to look disgusting, I, uh, I spent some time making it look pretty. Um, by making like an entire screen and practicing dark magic, but at least we now have a game. We actually have Flappy Bird now. Look at this. Look at that. It's an actual Flappy Bird. Isn't that wild? He's made out of tiny blocks. This is the block display thing I was talking about before. I wrote a tool in C Sharp to make this. <laughs> it's crazy. It's actually really cool. Okay, I'm not. I'm not planning on dying here. Sick. Zero redstone whatsoever. No mods whatsoever only commands and tears lots lots of tears it's a little clunky maybe but i really love how it turned out um i'm scared but let's go for it oh that's flappy bird yo i can where the... oh here come the pipes flappy bird hello old friend it's been a while oh i thought i died Okay, this is actually pretty cool. <laughs> I'm actually so stressed because my gut reaction is saying, okay, this is not, this doesn't look so difficult, but my hand is already twitching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so weird. I really like this. Is there a high score? Is there someone to beat? 200 points. 
in Minecraft Flappy Bird. Oh my God. Not this one coming up. Oh. I believe. Oh. I believe in you. Oh. 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 Go. Yes. 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 Hey. <laughs> Professional. You did it. I was not paying attention. No. No. Oh, no. You got so close. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. You go down the history books as, you know, the legend. Don't say it. Second. <laughs> no. So to conclude, yes, Minecraft is basically a game engine and a pretty fun one too. And that one only uses commands. There's a tutorial in the description below on how to get started with data packs in case you're interested, as well as a link to the world itself in case you want to play it. Subscribe. See you later.